Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome to, I should say, the very first vlog of the Conservative Patriot. Kind of hanging out here in my side yard. I got my barbecue stuff over here behind me. I should have a big giant Trump flag behind me, but it's uh, it's coming on the slow boat from Amazon. Um, not really the slow boat, but it will be here hopefully next week. I have two other flag, Trump flags, three foot by five foot flags. $5.99 on Amazon. Can't go wrong. Go to Amazon and get your Trump flags. Put them all over the place. Let everybody know what's up. So anyways, um, very first vlog. They're going to range in, in time. They could be really short, a couple minutes, or they could be long-winded depending on kind of how I how my rant goes. But today I, I wanted to talk about Nike and the Betsy Ross flag. And I know I'm a little late uh, late in the game on this, but what's the deal nike you have a has been washed up pseudo quarterback dictating dictating to you what should go on your products that's a sad state of affairs and that's another reason why i haven't bought a nike product in at least 30 years i refuse to buy nike shoes i refuse to buy nike clothes sometimes it's inevitable when um, I have kids who are in sports programs, and it seems like that the school is, is buying from Nike. Then I inadvertently buy a Nike product, but um, if, if I have the choice, there's no way in hell that I'm going to buy a Nike product. I don't understand how a company can say, all right, well, we're going to take the American flag off of a product that should have a huge following. Everybody loves the American flag, right? Apparently not. And it's totally proven that Colin Kaepernick's kneeling stance was not about police brutality and minorities or whatever the hell his stance was. It's his hatred for the United States. This guy grew up in a completely entitled environment. He grew up with anything he wanted. You've seen pictures on the internet. What is his problem? Why doesn't he like America? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's because he's not that good of a quarterback and everybody found him out. So he needed to, to come up with a plan to bring attention back to him. This is the wrong way to go, man. Nobody likes you. Now nobody really likes you. And the fact that you're telling Nike what to do is absolutely mind-blowing and the fact that they went along with it blows my mind even more although i shouldn't be totally surprised since they're in portland oregon although adidas's u.s headquarters is right down the road in the same state and i don't see them getting political ever i ever i, I can't think of one instance where adidas has gotten political or involved in politics in the united states I know they're a German company, but I've never seen anything political come from Adidas. Um, Under Armour is a great company. I got my son these fantastic Bryce Harper Under Armour cleats last year for baseball that had the stars and stripes on them. They were, they were awesome, fantastic. Nobody bitched and complained to Arm, Under Armour to take them off. Maybe Nike should pick the people that they sponsor better. They should... Do a little more digging and a little bit more research into who these people are. Or maybe they like that. Maybe they like the fact that they have such liberal athletes supporting them. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the, um, the branding that they want. But I can tell you what, I'm not going to get my money. And uh, I know that for a fact you're not going to get a lot of my friends' money because they're not going to support you. Um, I live in an area, a pretty rural, rural area, um, mostly conservative, that no one's going to support Nike after doing this. So, good job, Nike. Way to alienate more than half the country with a rejection of the American flag. That's exactly what this was. This was a complete rejection of America by Nike. But, what, but does that surprise you? Half their shit's made in China anyways. So... Man, I, this just fires me up. Um, I hope that they put it back on 
their shoes. Um, I hope that they're not as anti-American as I think they are. And I hope that another company like Under Armour comes out with a product, shoes or what, what have you, that has the American flag on it. it. You know, it's a patriotic symbol. And you should be glad that you're an American citizen. You should be happy that people with our viewpoints are buying your products because we make up more than half the country. So that being said, I'm going to let this whole Colin Kaepernick Nike issue just kind of die like it has been anyways and uh, move on to more pressing things tomorrow. Like what the hell are the Iranians doing with a, a British oil tanker? What the, what the hell? All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And uh, see you in the next video. Carry on.